good day everyone welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be explaining that how to share files and transfer data from one computer to another computer over the same wi-fi network so if you are in an office a school or at home and if you have multiple laptop and pc connected over the same wi-fi network then you don't have to use any third-party application or software and you can easily transfer the data now before starting there are a few settings that you will have to keep in your mind number one all the computers should be connected with the same wi-fi network and there are a few settings that you will have to enable all right so i'm on my first computer right now which is windows 10 and there are a few settings that you will have to change so click on your windows search type control then from the suggestion click on control panel now here you have to click on network and internet if you don't find this kind of page then you can click on this category option view by and choose category then click network and internet network and sharing center and then from the left hand menu option click change advanced sharing settings now once you come up here you will find few categories like private one so first you have to click on private make sure turn on network discovery and turn on file and printer sharing has been enabled it should be turned on then you have to do the same with guest or public these both options should be turned on then click on all networks and here make sure that this turn on sharing or so anyone with network access can read and write this option should be checked then come down to the very bottom and you will find password protected sharing you have to turn off this option once you are done you can click on save changes and then you can close it now you also need to enable a few services so for that click on your windows search type services hit the enter key the first service that you have to find here is ssdp discovery so you can come to the s section and look for ssdp discovery once you get it double click on it and here just make sure the startup type has been set to automatic and the services status is running and if not then click on the drop down choose automatic and then click on start then click apply and then click on ok once you are done the another one will be upnp so come to the u section and here you will find upnp device host this one double click on it and same here you also need to make sure the startup type has been set to automatic and the service status is running Assure this then click on ok the next one is function discovery so come to the f section and here you will find function discovery provider host double click on it choose this to automatic and start the service click ok and below that you will find function discovery resource publication double click make sure it's been set to automatic and then start the service now once you are done with these settings on one computer you have to do the same on another computer or if you have more than that then apply the same settings on the all the computer connected over the same wi-fi network so that you should not have any problem in file sharing so once you are done let me show you how you have to share the file so i will bring up my file explorer you also need to bring up your file explorer and choose any of the location where you can create a shared folder so i will choose a document a location then here i have to make a right click then over up to new and then you have to click on folder now rename this as shared folder once done i will just transfer some file to this folder so that i can show you that how the file transfer will work so for example i will take few images that are very small in size i will copy them then go back to the shared folder open it and paste it here once you are done go back now make a right click on this share folder so that we can make this folder shareable on the network then click on properties from the top menu option click on sharing then click on advanced sharing check this option of share this folder then click on permissions now select this to everyone and below make sure it's been set to allow click apply and then click on ok then click apply ok again now click on share from the drop down choose everyone click on add and give the read and write permission then click on share and then click on done and now you can close it 
So now you're all set. The file has been shared on the Wi-Fi network. Now we can come to my another computer. And here again, you have to bring up the file explorer. Then from the left-hand menu option, you will find the network option. Click on network. Now here it will say the folder is empty. So just have to wait because it will be reloading now. And once this will be reloaded, uh, you will find this kind of computer name of that computer where we shared the folder. And if I double click on it, I can see the same shared folder over here. And if I double click on it, so you can see, I can see both these images that I just shared from one computer. Similarly, this can be any kind of document, any kind of video file, any kind of application or software. And this can be accessible from any of the devices connected on the same Wi-Fi network. All right, so hopefully, guys, you will find this video helpful. And this is the best way to share the file very fast without using any kind of third party application or software. And this is really safe and you should go ahead and enjoy it. Just make sure that you enable all the settings that I explained in the beginning. And if you found this video helpful, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I see you in the next video. Bye bye.